holy moly, we have some interesting shifts in the market, and man, that fall of Albazlord definitely ramps up to some craziness. <laughs> I think the 34% of you that are going to miss the living crap out of this market watch, make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oscar content. I want to give a shout out here to Big3, as per usual. If you guys use code MCOOL40, you're going to save on your purchase here. Now, for those of you that have not had the chance to look, they have all the 25th anniversary products up right now on pre-order for you. They have amazing defenders. They have Hypernova um, in cases available. Uh, they even have the big thing I want to emphasize with the Trap Trick Structure Deck. The Structure Deck comes out in a couple weeks. I know a lot of people are going to be excited to get these available for $33 shipped to your front door. Um, whether or not you want to pick that up or not, my discount code will stack on that and we'll lower the price for you guys. So I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check out some of the deals out here for sealed product right now. Now, this is this is what I came here for. You know, we've been following all of the lore that's been going on right now, um, all of the good stuff that's came out every single week this week. I, I've been excited to see the lore evolve. Well, the market has been very happy to see the lore as well. Yes, 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 they have. $65, $45, $46. There are no breaks on the Fallen of Albaz Ultimate train, or excuse me, on the Ultimate Aluber train here. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm as perplexed as you are seeing this right now, that the fact this card has blown up as much as it has. A Luber here at the $7 mark as well. Um, I mean, four fifty five bucks. All copies of this have gone up. Like, I don't know if you've been living underneath a little bit of a rock here, but, like, I'm pretty impressed by just how solidly... Aluber has actually started to climb up the ranks here. And the fact that the Alti has just gone up as high as it has. Good stuff, Market. Meanwhile, you know, Sky Shark Ray's Rays are down to $42. If you're a fan of this deck and you just love the fact that the deck plays like Spellbucks, giving you utility to all of your engines, $42 is not a bad price point, actually. So for sub-discussion here, um, that's very interesting to see that those prices... I've dropped that much for Ray. Very, very interesting. What was the other ulti in this set? Oh, Ghost Reaper. Man, you can buy ulti Ghost Reapers for $33 now. That's whole... Actually, you can get them for $28. Good stuff. That's what I like to see. This set has so many good ultis that you could just pick up and do well with. I mean, obviously, like, the Nimble Beaver Super Rares look nice. The Neko Min Kings for dollars were all right for their time. But the rest of this OTS pack is, is kind of booty. All right. Now the other lore card. Fallen of Albaz. Uh, for those of you, I mean, this had a little bit of a temporary uptick. I mean, 35 bucks is $35. But it, it, it very quickly has dipped down. I mean, we looked at these the other day and they were like 40 bucks, right? Um, this one has gotten cheaper. I, I love the fact that a Luber goes up, Fallen of Albas heads on down. I, I Weird to me how that works, but the market does that some days. Um, your secret of Fallen of Albazes are 17 bucks for first hits. I remember one. Ah, back in my day, these were way more, but there's 33 listings of these. 166 on the Ultra. And you can get co commons for very cheap. Sorry, sorry, I had to struggle there with my, my internal uh, voice. Uh, the rest of OTS 19 here, I mean, Fall of Albaz, 35 bucks. Skill Dreams at $33, and Water Enchantresses at $34. How the mighty have fallen so much. Caius is $1.30. Hmm, it's kind of interesting. Your Slime Token, 45 cents. Gores is a uh, 60 cent common. All right. Uh, what else we got going here? Blazing Cartesia. Ah, they're underneath the $300 mark. That's good. They've they've calmed down. 280, 280, 280 have been your last sold listings. Nothing more recent, but this has calmed down. It's actually very, very good to see. Now, on the other hand here, the Secret Air version. Uh, you're still 23 bucks. 23, yeah. Look at a $23 a copy on Blazing Cartesia. That's also not that surprising to see at the moment. Just really considering the fact that, you know, lore. I mean, it's a good card also, don't get me wrong, but lore. All right. Um, now, this is hilarious to me. There are 16 listings of Sword Soul Moe on the market. 16. I, I'm going to once again repeat that. 16 secret rare listings. 
Luckily enough, it got the reprint. We're not doing anything too crazy with this, but you escalate up to the $20 mark so very quickly here. Like, what? Um, I don't have any real words to say for this, but very interesting. I mean, the rest of the Sword Soul stuff, I mean, she's out. These are still up. I'm still not surprised about this. 215 186 $200, 210 Yeah, they do ramp up after time, but this is this is kind of cringe, honestly. There's your 16 listings. 51 on Secret Rare Cheese Out. That's fine. So it's all emergencies, 40 listings. 41 on the reprint. Interesting, the reprint and uh, this have about the same number of listings. All the cheap copy. Th these, these two have synchronized in value. Um, and then the reprint MOEs. Interestingly enough, these are gaining value as well here from Mavens. You know, if you looked at Mavens for like the long term hold, um, I didn't think that that set would actually reliably hold. It's done so much more. And I, I just love the fact that the Sword Soul buyouts are continuing on. Even, even after no real successful any tops past the last run of things here, it's still doing its thing. It's very, very interesting. So yeah, your Sword Soul cards are, they're doing their job. Now I've been asked by multiple people, Robbie, do you think the Cashier cards are going to go down? Well, here's the thing right now. Fenrir's are stupidly $77. Fenrir as a whole is more expensive. Actually, they're like 70. Fenrir's as a whole are more expensive than your best secret rare in the set. Think about if this card was a secret. This would have been one of the most expensive cards in modern era history as a secret. This would have toppled out at $100. People would have lost their minds. They would have been so upsetty spaghetti about this that they wouldn't have known what to do. All right, but the fact that these have dialed back, now supposedly we, we think that we know the Unicorn's gonna be the ulti. Um, I think that Unicorn's having a $23 price tag is the only thing, that ulti I think is the only thing holding this card back right now from exploding all over the place. So I do uh, I do wanna talk about that, or I just wanna mention in that regard that like, yeah, this card can shoot up even higher beyond right now, but Whatever the ulti is going to be that they mentioned for this deck is, like I said, the thing that's holding this back. So to answer the question of, do I think that these two are pretty much where they are? I, you could see Fenrir topple up a little bit more. There's always that possibility, or there's the possibility of, you know, after the next set comes out, we see this drop down because people are afraid of a ban list. There's always that possibility. But until we know what that ulti is, um, I think that you're going to ride that very thin line for the time being for that. Now, Fish Sonar. I uh, mentioned this a little bit ago. Um, I saw these were going up. I was like, man, you know, feel free to make fun of me in the comments section going, hey, you know, should have pulled more of these. I mean, yeah. Honestly, I wish I could have. Uh, they're now $15. Am um, I surprised by this? No. It's a literal searcher with... Where are they going to reprint this at, huh? Konami, where are you going to toss this in as a reprint? The answer is, there's not really a place for them to put this at the moment. That's kind of like the big thing with this right now. Is like, I don't know where they're going to put this. There's there's no real big place right now. So it's kind of like why we're looking at this right now is I I can't really think of a place that they could they could dump this to really cash in on that equity. Uh, Curry Car, I just wanted to point these back out. These are still holding at $17, $18 right now. There has been no crash down, no back tracing on this. They are holding strong. I mean, you've lost maybe 25 cents over the last couple of days with this. Very interesting. Dual Avatar stuff, no change either, 50 cents. Uh, you believe in the Lions. Um, this core is going to cost you literally nothing. Most expensive part is the tokens, and I think the tokens look actually kind of cool. Uh, oh, talents. I actually wanted to mention this. These these Pharaoh rares, $150, $700 for this. Hold on, these went up even further beyond. Excuse me. $720, $720, $720. Yep, you go, talents. Shucky darn. All right. Didn't expect to see that today. 100 secret rare, 100 um, the one I wanted to talk about on here was the Ultras and, yeah, both Ultras here. These are both synchronized, actually. You're looking at about $12 to $13 on these. Um, kind of as we go forward here to the next set, you're going to want to keep an eye on these and uh, just be prepared, all right? A little bit of a heads up. And then uh, I just want to mention here that uh, the Dolphus Accord Coolias only have uh, 10 listings for the Collector's Rare, which I found kind of interesting, but I just want to point that out for you guys. So, that's today's market. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below to what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. 
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.